When we create a standard logic app, it runs in a single tenant environment. This means that it runs in a single dedicated instance. The standard logic app leverages Azure Functions Runtime. It is hosted as an extension on top of it. When we say it is hosted as an extension on top of Azure Function Runtime, it also requires the storage account. The storage account is needed to host the content that is needed for Logic App to be up and running. Due to increase in security and policies, many organizations want this storage account to be secured. In this video, we will see how to create a standard Logic App with a secure storage account. When you say secure storage account, a storage account whose access is restricted to a specific VNet or which is secured with a private endpoint. Hi, this is Shri. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If you are new here, I do blogging and make videos on Microsoft Azure. If you haven't already, please hit the subscribe button and help me grow this channel. Let's get started with it now. For the demo purpose, I have already created a resource group in Australia East region. Let's create a logic app in this resource group. Name will be SGIF and LG and workflows. This will be Australia East and the plan type is standard logic app. That's what we want to choose. And the Windows plan is app service plan. As we discussed it before, we would require an app service plan for the standard logic app. Pricing plan, this one should be okay. Zone redundancy is disabled for the demo purpose. That's all good. Click on next. And app service plan would require a storage account. This is to host the site content that is required for logic app to be up and running. We will see that once the logic app is created. Let's click on monitoring. We don't want any application insights for the demo purpose. Click on next. Review and create. Click on create. We have the logic app ready. Let's go to the resources and see. Okay, we have app service plan created. We have a logic app created and we have a storage account created. Let's open the logic app and the storage account. If you look at the storage account first, if you look at the file share, file share here. And this is where we have the site content that is needed for logic app to be up and running. That's where it would require a storage account to be associated with app service plan. Let's go back. If you go back to our storage account, if you see here, it is enabled from all the network at the moment the storage account is publicly accessible over the internet. If you go back to our standard logic app, let's simply create a workflow. Click on add, just test workflow, stateful, either one of those should be okay. Click on create. Okay, we have a workflow created. Let's restrict the access of this storage account to a specific VNet. For that purpose, let's go to our resource group and create a virtual network. Give a name to virtual network and we want this virtual network to be deployed in Australia East region. Just click on the review and create. Everything should, everything else should be okay. Click on create. Okay, we have LG iPhone VNet virtual network created. Let's create a subnet to control the network access. Subnet iPhone LG. Just leave everything to the default and click on save. We have subnet iPhone LG created. Now let's go back to our storage account and restrict the storage account access only from the specific subnet. Click on enable from the selected virtual networks. Add existing virtual network. We are going to add LG iPhone VNet virtual network which we created and the subnet is subnet iPhone LG. So Okay, we don't have service endpoints enabled for this subnet. What does that mean is we first have to allow the traffic from the subnet to the Microsoft storage accounts. Let's enable that one first. Enable the service endpoints so it can allow the traffic from the subnet to any storage account. Service endpoints enabled. Now let's add the subnet. Okay, the subnet is added. Let's save all the settings. Okay, the settings have been saved successfully. Now the storage account access is restricted only from the specific subnet. If we go back to our logic app overview and just hit a refresh, we have an error notification here. Access to the path site www.root slash host.json is denied. Now that we have restricted storage account access only from that specific subnet, it is no more publicly accessible. The access to the storage account is denied. The logic app is not able to access the storage account. Even if you go to the workflow, if you see here we have previously added a workflow, it could not even fetch that workflow upon clicking the refresh. Now let's fix this one. Go to networking, outbound traffic, add VNet, LG iPhone VNet, existing subnet, subnet iPhone LG. Let's configure the outbound traffic via this subnet so it can reach storage account. 
Okay, the outbound VNet configuration is done and outbound traffic is routed via our subnet iPhone LG. Now, if I go back and hit a refresh, we still have that error because we are not done yet. There is one more important thing we have to do. We have to configure certain settings in application settings. Click on add new application setting. We have to set this website VNet route all to one click on add there is one more application setting website content over vnet should be one click on add just checking to see if these both are one just save it saving the application setting will restart the app it's all done now let's go to the overview or it a control f5 okay that error is gone now it's able to connect to the storage account and if you go to the workflows now we can see the previously created workflow that's it for this video i hope you like the content if you like the content please do like share subscribe to my youtube channel i'll catch you in the next video until then this is shri signing off thank you